Okay, so this is take two, uh, but let's try half and half. Figure since I am going to be going away for probably under a week, but I'm leaving tomorrow, so I figure I'll get this out of the line. I just don't feel like doing a major video right now. I'm just. I don't know, the anticipation of having to deal with the Christmas horse shit is sort of taking its toll on me. <laughs> Anyways, this is Half and Half by Lane Limited ATA Scandinavian Tobacco Group. Now, I was under the impression that Half and Half was half Burley and half Bright Virginia. But I'm reading this little area right above where my thumb is. It just says Burley and Bright Tobacco. And I'm looking at this, I am seeing a lot of Burley, I'm guessing. And Maybe 10% what I'm guessing are the Brights or the Virginia Tobacco. I am somewhat relieved to say that the topping or casing is not noticeable. Now, I will still be taking the velvet with me tomorrow, not just simply because it's too big, but I got the feeling I'm going to like this better because it doesn't have the topping on it. Anyways, let's load it up. Now, because this is supposed to have a, well, it's supposed to have Virginia, so when I try and get it to burn hot, because Virginia needs to be sort of sipped slowly, I am sort of expecting this to get hot, so we'll see. I'm not doing my proper fill. If I, you know, part of me, me from now on, chances are when I do these videos, I'm just going to preload the bowl so I can, you know, do it proper and not waste my time doing that. Anyways, again, going to be using the Bic because I want to save my Zippo fluid, call me, uh, cheap. <coughs> Excuse me, but that felt good. Drawing light. I'm already, bear in mind my expectations were essentially a step above non-existent. But I'm already pleasantly surprised
I am detecting Virginia. So I don't know, maybe there, maybe it is half oh, Virginia and I'm just blind. Yeah, or I just can't tell the difference between Burley and Virginia, but I mean there is some definitely blonder leaf in there compared to the more dark brown burly or no I shouldn't say dark brown burly but more brown bur brown burly that I associate with that tobacco. Again, it's nothing well what you expect from an over-the-counter blend, but and I mean I'm puffing, or at least I'm trying to puff hard. And it's not getting bitey in the slightest bit. This is tough. Not that the tobacco is tough, the tobacco is actually quite pleasant. When I was sort of venturing into these old codger blends, and I sh probably should not call them old codger, I mean I'm 36, but I get along with people who are definitely will definitely will be classified as the old codger category. All my friends are either significantly younger or significantly older than me. But uh, when I was looking into these old codger blends, I wasn't doing it with the intention of replacing Granger, which is my, was my go-to every day, just want to smoke just for the sake of having a smoke, don't want to sit and ponder the tobacco smoke. But this, shockingly, might replace it. I might have to try the two side by side and see which one is better because it's been quite a while since I've had, last had Granger. At least month and a half, two months if not longer. Again, not getting hot.
Okay, the top of the ball is um, warmer. You know, after I do this, I might end the video and smoke this proper. This is, or it might be the Virginia, but this is actually quite good. I was expecting a, um, something a bit bad, honestly. I was expecting the Virginia's to be sort of ruining. I was expecting a cheap tobacco, and I mean, it is a lower price budget tobacco. But definitely considering the price, this is really good. <coughs> I mean, it's definitely better than Sir Walter Riley, but then again, that might just be due to the lack of topping. Still not getting hot. Which is shocking. I actually wanted this to get hot. I don't know why. And my Zippo is dead. Or my dick is dead. This is actually quite good. I mean, I'm trying to get it to bite me. I don't know. I actually have never had, actually I shouldn't say that, um, Aaron Moore Flake. Not the Ready Rock, which I like, but Aaron Moore Flake, I found, just had this. Not even a bite. I've, it wasn't even that I would describe it as a bite. It felt like battery acid poured on my tongue when I smoked it. I actually ended up giving it away. Hopefully the person I gave it to can appreciate it significantly more than I did. I know I gave him a tin of vintage serene as well. That's actually what he wanted because I'm just... I know it's blasphemy to say, but I am just simply not a fan of Syrian Latakia. And I mean, I know it's pretty much gone, if not all but gone now. But I'm just, you know, if Cyprian Latakia were to disappear, I'd be very, very sad. But Syrian, I just find a little bit too simple. I like my Latakia to be bold, not simple. And again, probably because I packed it Poorly in a bit of a rush.
As a fact that for some reason whenever I try and get these tobaccos to burn it always goes out on me versus when I take my time. Friend texted me I'll probably be spending well I might be spending Christmas with her family. I am Honestly, a bit flabbergasted how good this tobacco is. Like, it might honestly replace Granger as my go-to everyday smoke. Now, if I can find a replacement for on the bayou, Frog Morton. <laughs> Still haven't found a replacement for that. But then again, uh, I haven't really been looking all that hard either. Okay, the bowl is getting a warmer so maybe this does burn hot if I try but in regards to tongue bite and like the bowl is warm but it's by no means hot so this is definitely something that should be smoked proper versus what I do in these videos and actually try and get the tobacco to bite me. I don't know why I do that. Maybe it's just simply a uh, morbid curiosity. This is going to be tough to rate too. Sixty five for sure. And I'm going to have to pretty much try this and Granger side by side to sort of figure out which will be my go-to tobacco. But anyway, 65 out of 100, definitely above average, definitely better than... Actually, no, 70. Let's write it a 70. That's how good this stuff is. I'm writing it a 70, and it's a codger blend, too. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, I, my food is ready. I need to... Not, obviously not to shoot myself, but I need to get myself a shot of insulin and eat to get ready for tomorrow. <coughs> might head to bed early, might not head to bed all and just pull in all night or I find if I have to wake up early in the morning it's just easier for me not to sleep. But I don't know. I mean, I understand it's a codger blend, so, or an over the counter blend, so. Takes that as you will, but I mean. Let me put it to you this way. If this were blended under Greg Peace, it will definitely it will be on the lower end of Greg Peace's lines. I am quite a... What I've had of Greg's Peace lines I like, but except for the cuts or something about that. Cornell and Deal's Chunky Ribbon, I guess. Um, 
I'm not a fan of, but their tobaccos are good. And if this were Cornell and Deal or Great Peace, I can see it being a on the spectrum of the sort of higher end blends. So give it a try. I mean, I know it comes in box, so if you're like me and you don't want to like me with velvet anyways, and you don't want to spend over around 30 bucks American or so for a 12 ounce tin, well, Buy an ounce for two ounces, and you might be pleasantly surprised. Anyways, take care, everybody. Have yourself a good night, and bye.